What's going on, y'all? What an incredible week this has been. I asked y'all to answer the call and buy my albums on iTunes because Spotify decided to put my new album, Truck Sessions, in Spotify jail. I don't know why. I don't even know if it's ever going to be released. We've emailed them with zero response. But here's what happened. I asked y'all to answer the call to send a message because the same people that tried to cancel Tucker Carlson and do the Bud Light thing and shove men and women's sports and all that kind of stuff, they tried to come after me. Y'all made this the number one country album for three days in the USA, passing Luke Combs, outselling Taylor Swift, Morgan Wallen, almost Ed Sheeran. This is what happens when patriots actually come together. We're very powerful, and it just shows because there's no way a guy like me should be hanging up in the ranks with people like that. They're worldwide superstars. I've got y'all to thank. This has truly been one of the most incredible weeks of my life. Thank you. Y'all remember when you were eight years old and you had a bunch of friends over and you're jumping on the bed and there's a ceiling fan hanging over your bed and everybody liked to stick their hand up in it and the blades would make that real cool sound on your fingers like brrrr, but you don't want to go too far because you get your fingers just knocked off. There's always this one idiot kid and I guess we'll call him Jimmy. <laughs> he had to punch the ceiling fan and stick his whole fist up there. Well, disaster followed. The whole fan spun out of control and that destruction led to your old man giving you an ass whooping for lack of common sense and breaking his fan. You probably mowed yards to pay him off. There's a lot of ceiling fan kids out there today, ain't there? I mean, idiots that cannot understand how a world is supposed to function. So they embrace ideas like communism and socialism. Here's the deal. I'm all for dividing America up into two halves at this point. I really feel like it'd be a great idea. And there's zero risk whatsoever when we're talking about this because we'll have no interaction with them for a couple years. And then all of a sudden, we'll just check back to see how things are going. The communist side will have mostly killed themselves. They'll be completely out of food and chasing rats through the alleys of Manhattan for a quick lunch. Millions of them will lack medicine. Mental health will be out of control because there's no well-funded charities to actually help these people anymore. Everyone will be weak and on their knees and crying for America to come back and play our reindeer games. It just so happens that our reindeer games is to lead them to their own devices because self-government needs to win the day. We'll walk right back in, we'll take over their land, and the American spirit is going to be as powerful as when the men came back from World War II and they were dipping women in the streets and kissing them. All for one, one for all, one common purpose. For years, y'all, I've studied all the great wars that we've ever had in America right in the years before they happen, because that's what interests me the most. How did it happen? I like to see the common trends, and I like to see humans breaking point. Well, let me tell y'all something. Right now in 2023, that idiot kid Jimmy is about to shove his fist up in a ceiling fan he don't want no part of. We keep waiting on the one thing it's going to take for patriots to finally get involved, which is when they try to take what we've rightfully earned away. That's coming down the pipeline according to world leaders. You'll own nothing and be happy. Remember that? When Winston Churchill found out that Pearl Harbor had been bombed, he broke out a bottle of champagne. Y'all know this? He said, we've won the war. His generals looked at him like he was absolutely crazy. America's fleet was wiped out. France was overrun. London was getting bombed. Churchill said America is like a giant boiler. Light a fire under it, and there's no limit to the amount of heat it can generate. I have a feeling that when this sleeping giant finally awakes and arises, there will be no hiding place for those who tried to destroy her. It's like Japanese Admiral Yamamoto said, you cannot invade mainland United States. There would be a rifle behind every single blade of grass. You think it's just a pretty quote? F around and find out. Y'all ever notice that a wasp doesn't really bother you until you swat at it and you chase it down? Then it stings you in both your eyelids and you can't see for an entire week. And that's just one wasp. Imagine 80 million. Let me remind y'all that all our granddads are watching us from heaven. They're watching your performance to see what you're going to do, see what you're really made of. Let's do them one proud.